So we went and picked up our meat and we made it home and we got a trunk full. Now it's time to sort it all out. We should put that one like in last. It's all yeah. You want some of it in the house too? Yes, yeah, so I want some in the house. We have two deals of hamburgers so uh, far. Three. Three? Three full bags. This, these bags full of hamburgers so far. So far, wow. Here's another one. So now comes the challenging part of figuring out exactly how to organize it in our freezer. And we don't exactly have a, a full empty freezer to work with. We've got a partial empty freezer here, a partial empty freezer in the house, and then a partial empty freezer at my mom's. So we're just going to have to figure this all out. And we've still got some chicken and we've still got some pork left. So that's, we've got about half or a little more in here to use. So. Um, here are the steaks and ribs. <laughs> steaks and ribs, all right. Picked out some T-bone steaks there, and we've decided that is what is for supper tonight. Supper. It has been forever since we've had any sort of steak, because we just usually don't buy it because it's too expensive. Um, normally, I, if we eat anything fancy, it's usually pork chops. So, And quite literally, it's been years since we've had steaks, so I'm excited. I want to put like a mixture throughout so that way we don't have to dig and dig and dig for everything. So I don't know how to organize it for sure, but I guess... Take just... a sack, dump it, dump it, take another sack, dump it, and then you're mixing it. No. <laughs> you're just being too picky then. I know, I am being picky. Boneless sirloin. I guess what we could do is do like roast steaks hamburger and then do some more roast and some more steaks and some more hamburger and kind of layer it so that way we don't have to dig clear to the bottom if we want something. Okay. Yeah, that's just, that's just steaks. Yeah. You want ribs and steaks in the bottom? Yeah. Is that how you want it? A few ribs and a few steaks and then go to roast and then hamburger and then some more ribs. Oh, right there's your roast. Yeah, you can grab a few and put in there. There's some ribeye steaks. What all you got in that sack? This one? It, yeah, what well, kind of steaks? Um, so far we have ribs and roasts. No ribeyes. And then you handed me a ribeye. Here's another package of ribeyes. Here's a package of T-bones. Another package of T-bone. Yeah, you can put some. St if you got some stew meat, you can put it in the freezer that goes in the house, and then put some put like minute meat steaks. Meat. If there's minute steaks and that kind of stuff in there. I haven't found any minute steaks yet. They obviously well, named minute steaks something else. Round or Swiss. Yeah. Here's Swiss. Four lines. I got the brisket. I don't know. I have to figure out how to fix that. I don't think I've ever fixed a brisket before. Not like that anyway. Those are huge T-bones well, right there. Yeah, but they're two in there. Even. They're like that. Mm.
Pike's Peak Roast. Never heard of that. You want hamburger on top of that now? Yeah. Well, there was a bunch in that what Dylan just took in, but yeah, but we, we have to take more bags. Take the the bag that has other stuff in it and put it in here. I might actually be able to fit it all in here. Hamburger oh, patties. Oh, patties! Yay! I'm glad we got those on top. You know that little flat spot in the, in the freezer? Mm -hmm. What I took in exactly filled that. Oh, good. So, there's a lot more space in there. So we can so finish. We can take probably like another half a bag of hamburger and stick it in there. And we'll we could probably take there. this bag and half that hamburger and stick it in there. Okay. You want this in there? Mm -hmm. That work with you? Yeah. What do you want to do with this one? Oh. Half in here, half in yeah, that'll work. Okay. Oh, there's hamburger in there. So that full, being full like that makes me happy. Me too. Okay, we'll see what the freezer in here looks like. We actually got room in here. We do? Holy moly, we do. <laughs> wow, it didn't take up as near the space I thought it would. Mm -mm. I'm just glad I didn't buy another freezer because at one point I was thinking we needed to buy one. So, anyway. There's a lot of room left in that one, too. Yeah. You can bring in some stuff. Got room for some chickens now. A month or so we'll order some meat birds and then we'll get them in the freezer and we'll be good to go. Well, the steaks were absolutely delicious and we feel super thankful that we have all of that meat. I added up the total cost of everything from start to finish and um, divided it out per pound and our meat ended up costing us $2.70 a pound and we don't think that is bad at all. Um, I know that if we would go to the store and try to buy any cut, probably even the cheapest cut of meat, um, we, we, we probably couldn't buy it for that price per pound. We thought the whole project turned out really great and it's definitely something that we plan on doing again. If you have any questions on anything that I haven't covered, be sure to ask in the comments below and I will answer them for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.